morning walk. Um, so I'm still relatively freaked out by the fact that I left a lot of information on the other computer, but I that kind of got put to rest last night in my head at least a little when I realized nobody cares. And they'd rather erase the computer and resell it than, than deal with me. So I'm thinking too much of myself. My importance is not great in the world. Uh, and I changed all my passwords. I got to bed around 10.30. I, uh, what did I do before that? Not much. I read. Oh, I read a bunch last night. A couple hours worth. And couldn't sleep, of course. Eventually fell asleep. Woke up around 4. And then I think I, no, around 2. Then I woke up around, uh, man, I'm so boring. I woke up around 5.30 and tried to get back to sleep until about 6.30. I don't know how, how successful I was, but at one point... I lay there with my hand on Bella, and she put her paw on me, which was really sweet. And it's 23 degrees this morning, which is negative 5 degrees centigrade. It is Hope's birthday today. Hope is 4, according to our records from the shelter. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Hope. That's it. I almost forgot. I did have some dreams last night, and I don't remember much of them. Oh, Hope's peeing. But there were two. The first one was our house in Fayetteville. Downstairs, there's a little hallway with a uh, with a washing machine, washer and dryers down there, and a, it led to Dad's bathroom downstairs. We had a split level, uh, and there was a doggy door in the bathroom and went through like a cabinet. So it was like, had two doors on it, which our dogs used when we lived there. But in the dream, there was a doggy door in the door and I noticed a bunch of animals around outside. And I go out and I throw open the screen door and there's a bunch of rats out there. And they immediately run to the neighbor to the left of our house. Hopes of pooping on her birthday. That's all I remember that. It's just, there was like a half, there was like a half dozen, a dozen rats. The second dream, I was, but I was also watching Dr. Smith from Lost in Space, the original series. And, uh, oh, Bella's pooping too. Good girls, wait, wait. Good girl, Bella, good girl. Good girl, good girl. You feel better? Um, he directed a force field. And one of these creatures, they were wearing robes, and they had, like, bowler hats on, and their faces were just blank. No, come on, girls, come on. Good girls. Uh, came up to it. It looked like a Zheng Shi, the uh, hopping vampires from Chinese uh, folklore. And he was like, haha, I can't get through. And then the thing put its hand up against the, the force shield, which was invisible, you know what I mean? Because all that was is, oh, there's a force shield here, you can't get through. And you could start to see the force field as it bubbled, because the thing was going to break through. And Dr. Smith looked very nervous. And that was the entirety of the dream that I remember. Afternoon walk. We've already sighted deer. There they go. Big one and a little one. Oh, there's three. Okay. It's 47 degrees out, which is uh, eight point, no, no. Yeah, 8.3 centigrade. Oh, hold on. I gotta grab these girls with both hands. So they headed up that way. We're going down this way. I don't think we separated the herd any. Uh, all right. So I got dramatic persona done for the next little scenario. Come on. It's coming out in April. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. I think I've talked about this before so that I can focus for about three months on a bigger project in June. Um, I mean, I might tomorrow, if, if mom and I do not go computer shopping for her, I might try to get a good portion of that done tomorrow. I did a little bit of an outline. 
as well. And then I also worked on the Wednesday night Down Darker Trails game. Just trying to get all my notes and stuff kind of organized, so these are the fine things. Figuring out a couple of other NPCs and making a list of names that appeared in the little newspaper article that I wrote. And I also need to, uh, or not article, the front page. I also need to print out the people met list, so I'll have that handy. So people that they've already, they're familiar with, then I'll be able to just pop them in without too much trouble. That's about it. I don't feel like I got a lot done today, but I got some done. Um, did laundry as well. That's still in process. As a matter of fact, I should have changed stuff up probably before we went on this walk. I'm talking too long. Uh, what's left? Not much. I think I'm going to watch some Parks and Rec again tonight. And then tomorrow I'll try to get a fresh start and get some more writing in. Whoa, far enough. No, no, no. Come on. Hey. Right up there is where that poop is that Christy keeps eating. And I don't want her to eat any. Christy! She got some anyway. Bad dog. It's my fault. Come on. Come on, help. Hope, hope. Come on. Guess that's it. I'm tired. One more deer. Just went from behind that shed. There she is. She's going up the driveway. <laughs> Get him, Christy. There's the mailman. Here's my buddy for Parks and Rec tonight.